Meet Percy LaVon Julian, a genius who defied Jim Crow racism to revolutionize modern science. In this video, brought to you by Black History X, discover how Julian synthesized glaucoma treatments from toxic beans, slashed cortisone costs to help arthritis patients, and built a million-dollar lab empire, all while battling firebombings and segregation. Fact 1. Born in 1899 in racially segregated Montgomery, Alabama, Julian faced systemic racism but excelled academically. Despite graduating as valedictorian from DePaul University, 1920, he was denied a teaching position due to his race. He later earned his PhD in chemistry from the University of Vienna, 1931, becoming one of the first African Americans to achieve this. Fact 2. Julian became the first scientist to synthesize physostigmine, a compound used to treat glaucoma, from the calabar bean. His breakthrough involved converting the plant's toxic alkaloids into a stable medicinal form. This work not only advanced organic chemistry, but also provided affordable treatment for glaucoma patients, particularly those unable to afford expensive natural extracts. Fact 3. While working at Glidden Company, 1936-1953, Julian discovered how to extract stigmasterol from soybean oil, a key step in mass-producing synthetic hormones like progesterone and testosterone. His methods made hormone therapies widely accessible, aiding fertility treatments and corticosteroid production, for example, cortisone for arthritis. By 1950, soy-based steroids became a $200 million industry. Fact 4. Julian created a cost-effective method to synthesize cortisone, a steroid critical for treating rheumatoid arthritis. Before his work, cortisone was extracted from ox bile at exorbitant prices. Julian's soybean was a fraction of the cost, allowing millions to gain access to life-changing anti-inflammatory treatments. Fact 5. In 1953, Julian launched Julian Laboratories, a chemical company specializing in steroid intermediates. He sold it to Smith Klein, now GSK, in 1961 for $2.3 million over $20 million today, becoming one of America's first black millionaire entrepreneurs. He used his wealth and platform to fight racial inequality, funding the NACP and scholarships for black students. His home was firebombed in 1950 by racists, but he refused to be silenced. 